Hi, I'm Jason. I'm here in the IPR game room, and today I'm here to talk about Shiver. Now, Shiver is a horror storytelling game from the team of Ember and Ash. It is a rooted in the trophy uh, game uh, that is derived from uh, a game I'm not super familiar with called Dark Trophy. And uh, it is another in a long line of games that go back to the 1970s with Call of Cthulhu that are designed not to make you feel good. In fact, Shiver is a game that explores starvation, fear, uh, paranoia, and cold. Uh, so that is, the, that is the sort of game it is. It is not a game where you uh, grow more powerful, acquire things, <clears throat> and win. It is a game where you are starving uh, and suffer through temptations and are doomed, and you explore that. So, uh, in the beginning, uh, Shiver uh, is a game about villagers. You are a villager. Now, you may be a villager with some extraordinary powers uh, in implied in the storytelling, as you might be some sort of shaman that has some le level of magical ability, <coughs> but you are nonetheless villagers. Uh, your village <coughs> is starving through a particularly brutal winter, uh, and you have gone out uh, into into the woods to find a sort of a mythical or quasi mythical location uh, of plenty. Uh, there's there is a a hidden a hidden spot in the forest that is filled with with plentiful food and game, and you're going out to get that ideally to bring it back to your village so you can head off the starvation and suffering. Um, you do this in the in the in the series of five rings. That's how the game structured, and each ring comes with a terror and a temptation. Uh, which get gradually worse and worse uh, until in the fifth ring you actually find the location in the forest. Um, uh, and I'll come back to that, but it's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, so along the way, uh, there are also, um, you have moments, individual, usually shocking and upsetting uh, moments that you encounter. And you start to pick up... Uh, uh, sort of um, negative traits due to cold and starvation that are all horrifying and completely realistic uh, as you start to go mad or your body starts to shut down. P.S. You pick up conditions throughout the game that reflect your level of madness and starvation. And the location you are trying to reach is the Everspring. The Everspring is when you reach Ring 5 of the five rings you're exploring uh, using the Dark Trophy system. Um, so this is a game about exploring that. It's, it's not really, again, a game, and it's not a game where you're really good at fighting things, usually. Um, it is a game where you encounter a lot of horrifying things, like, uh, like a fox and a rabbit huddled together for warmth that are dead uh, and frozen solid. Uh, it, is, it is a game where you have to make all sorts of horrifying choices as you encounter other animals, both mythical and not, and people who are starving to death and dealing with the consequences of that. Uh, and when you finally uh, uh, find the hidden location you're trying to get through, it is very much um, sort of like the, lo like the island of the Lotus Eaters in, in the Odyssey, where you then start to consume the food which causes you to go into a, a, a sleep-like state that you can't escape from. Uh, and you can't seem to get back get out again if you start actually eating the plenty that's there. So in the best case scenario, you survive long enough to get to a place you can't escape, and you never do go back and, and help you know, your village. Now, I guess a good relevant question would be, why is this something one would play? Now, the reason is a lot like playing something like uh, Bully Pulpit Games, uh, The Skeletons. You're not playing this for a sense of, of, of like winning. You're not playing this for a sense of a, the kind of emotional gratification that comes from gamism. It's not a gamist game. You don't, you don't kill things, well you might, but that's really incidental. You don't kill things, take things, and get more powerful. You are exploring emotions in this game, and you're exploring reactions to extreme situations in this game. So that is the purpose of, of Shiver. And uh, it, it does a very good job of this, like exploring the themes of, 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 of temptation, hunger, desperation, fear, 
and cold. So uh, if you're a person that loves storytelling games for the purpose of telling the story and exploring the emotional content of the game, this is very much a game for you. Uh, and it is available from IPR uh, with the link below. Uh, follow us on uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to our newsletter. And remember, gamers, when you come upon the great beast that, pr that protects paradise, it may or may not be there.